welcome back to my channel. Um, we are talking today about a new tea product. Recently, I heard buzz on, I think it was Instagram, about Twinings offering their cold infused teas here in the States. Um, previously, this product was available in the UK. It, it wasn't here in the States but they did release some of them. Limited release, it's in Walmart only. Um, I rarely, if ever, go into Walmart, so um, I made a special stop. I went to the Walmart's website. You can kind of see who has a product in stock, and um, I actually happened to be going past this Walmart anyway, so I was like, you know, I'll stop and pick up some. Um, the website had said that they had in stock um, four flavors, but they only had three available. I picked up two of them. Um, the flavors I picked up, well, the product we're talking about here is a Twinings Cold Infuse Flavored Cold Water Enhancer. It's basically like an herbal tea that you're going to add to your water. Uh, it's got blueberry, apple, and blackcurrant for this one. This one is passion fruit, mango, and blood orange. They also had a pink lemonade one. I believe the pink lemonade in the UK is like a kid's flavor, but in the US, it's just one of the standard flavors. I passed on that one. I generally am not a huge fan of like pink lemonade flavored things. Um, they also were supposed to have a strawberry mint watermelon, um, but that one wasn't on the shelf and they didn't know anything about it. So I'll pick that one up at a later time. That one actually sounds really good. So it comes in a package like this, a so 1.06 ounce. 12 infusion sachets, uh, five calories in this. It says naturally caffeine free. Liven up your water the easy way. Just drop in your bottle and go. Drop one infuser into your water bottle. And wait five minutes, shaking occasionally. Leave infuser in and enjoy. Once prepared, please consume within eight hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these popped in here. Um, so that's what it looks like on the top. It says drop, leave, shake, and enjoy. I thought if these worked out nicely, they're a nut. Like, um, currently, I travel with some of the Kusa tea sass, um, what do they call it? I don't know, envelopes or whatever, you know, you would call their little package that it comes in. I travel with those in my purse. They're easy to throw into a water bottle or you're at a restaurant that, you know, you don't want a soda and you don't want water. I like to add those to my drinks, but I thought these might be an excellent alternative to carry with me as well if, if they're good. So the flavor is very pungent. It's reminding me of something. It reminds me slightly of the smell of Beach Bellini from Tivana, kind of what it smells like. Um, I'm going to pop one of these in. I have cold water. This is, um, 16 ounces of water in my Libre tea mug. Thought we'd put it in that so you could see what it looked like. Pop that one in. We're gonna open the other one too and get it steeping as well. The blueberry, apple, and black currant. And you can see, I just popped it in the water. It's not really doing anything yet, but we'll see. Drop, leave, shake, and enjoy. Let's see what this one smells like. It smells really strong of um, like that black currant. And you know, they're pyramid sachets, pretty finely fine pieces, which is what you would expect for something that is going to steep rather quickly and infuse into that water in five minutes. You want it to have a pretty high surface area to do so. So we're gonna put that one in this other Libre infuser and uh, see what happens there. So uh, ingredients on the passion fruit, mango and blood orange, white hibiscus, natural blood orange, mango and passion fruit flavors with other natural flavors, rose hips, apple pieces, red hibiscus, chicory root, orange peel and natural flavor. A lot of natural flavors going on there and I the more and more I learn about natural flavors the more 
natural flavors to me doesn't mean anything. If anything, it's just as bad in some cases as artificial flavors. So um, it says all natural flavors, but again, that doesn't mean much. Um, and on the blueberry, apple, and currant, we've got red hibiscus, natural apple, blueberry, and black currant current flavors with other natural flavors, beetroot, rose hips, natural flavor, and orange peel. So the beetroot, and you can see, it's already starting to kind of take on some color down there, which is to be expected with a beetroot. The orange is starting to get like an orange color at the bottom. So we're gonna wait here for another four minutes or so, and we'll see how these turn out. Okay, so they've been infusing for about four minutes now. Um, you can see that color at the bottom is still really kind of pretty dark down there. Smell-wise, it smells like a nondescript fruity flavor. So we're going to shake that, and it's just like a a light kind of pinky color. I think it's coming across uh, darker on camera than what it really is in real life. This orange one smells, ooh, it smells, uh, you could smell the passion fruit for sure. I mean, that pops out at you immediately. And you can see that color down there. We're gonna shake these up here. It's just a very light kind of orange, super orange light color. Okay, so we are at, it's been about five minutes. So we're gonna try the orange one first here, I think. So uh, the orange is very dominant. A little bit of the passion fruit in the end. These are excellent. This is really good. Um, I can 100% see drinking this kind of product. Granted, the smell is much stronger than the taste, but the orange is there. The passion fruit is definitely represented. The mango slightly but they're all working together. It's not sweet, there's no sugar in it. It's just that water with natural, that, again, natural, but the water with the flavors, it's really good. And the, I put cold water in here, but I would probably add ice to it and make it really ice. I like, I like this kind of thing really nice and cold. Um, kind of along the same lines, if you're gonna do um, like the circle water bottles, you know, where you're adding flavor. Um, I reviewed that Born um, tea a while back where that was like a quick infuse where it infused in just a matter of minutes. That was like black teas, green teas, jasmine teas. That was excellent. Um, but for an herbal tea, I really like this one. This is good. And um, I certainly think this is something I will kind of throw into my purse. And it's nice, like if you're in a restaurant, granted you can't shake it, but you could probably take your straw or a fork or something and stir it around um, to infuse the water. Plus, this is something too, I would probably just leave the, the sachet in there until I finished it. It's just gonna um, provide a stronger, more potent flavor. So next up is the berry one. So the blueberry, apple, and black currant. I'm gonna shake it again, some more kind of seeped out in the bottom. So this one, you can definitely taste the um, the black currant, and this isn't the lid that goes on it, so it's, it's like it's not fitting right on here. You can taste the black currant. You can certainly taste the apple. Not so much blueberry. I mean, the blueberry's there. I think the apple really comes out with the black currant. I actually like this one too. I think if I had to say between the two, the orange is certainly my favorite. 
I think after trying these, I definitely, I think I will try the pink lemonade one. And I know that they had like um, a lemon orange or something, but that one wasn't available in my store. And I want to get that strawberry or watermelon mint strawberry. I want to try that too. So I'm going to try to track down the other three flavors. When I do, I'll do a review on them. But I think so far, the two I've tried, I actually really like them. Um, again, the orange one is my favorite, but I like them both and I'll use both. I think that these are super handy, especially if you are thirsty, you're going to have water and you don't, you want something different, or let's say you don't even like the taste of water, then these would probably be a great option too. I'm excited. I'm glad that Twining's offered these in the U.S. I know in the U.K. they've got some even more interesting flavors like a what is it? Rose lemonade or something. They've got a lot of different flavors as well, but uh, the ones I tried are really good. So if you have tried this, I'd love to know what your thoughts were on it. If not, uh, questions, leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.